Okay, now we're doing pronation with rotation. So Dr. Joe's gonna be working his left foot again. He's gonna put his right toe to his left heel, and then bring it out. With this one, you could turn that right foot out if you need to, because you might be swiveling on it at some point. So Dr. Joe's gonna get his body and his knee behind his left ankle. The first thing he's gonna do is allow his knee to softly come forward. As that's coming forward, he's opening up at the hips, turning his body away from that leg, and then going back. As he goes back, his knee extends, his body goes back, and his hips are now square again. So the knee comes forward, and Dr. Joe's body, hips, turn away. What you should be thinking about is keeping that knee traveling toward that first toe or just slightly inside of that first toe. We want to keep the outside edge of the foot down. The outside edge of the foot should not pop up here, but you should be feeling a lot more weight toward the middle of the foot, inside edge of the foot, and the arch of that foot. The weight now will be approaching the ball of the big toe or the knuckle of the big toe. So let's do a couple more reps really slow. The knee's traveling forward. The hips are turning and opening up away from that leg. And Dr. Joe is feeling his arch in the inside of his heel and the big toe, the ball or base of the big toe. Let's do two more repetitions. And he's trying to rotate his body at the same time his knee goes forward. He's doing a good job of keeping tall and keeping the outside edge of that left foot on the ground. So you, this should just be a progression of the last two, and he should be feeling a lot more weight on the inside part of his foot. And as you see, you're, you're seeing the arch of his left foot pronate or drop down closer to the floor as he turns and brings his body forward. Good job.